Hello and welcome to Let's All Crochet. This is a left-handed tutorial for these pink shell leg warmers. If you are right-handed, I have linked the tutorial on the top right of the screen and in the description box below. The cuff has a ribbing pattern and the main body has a shell pattern. These socks are very easy and beginner friendly. The size can be adjusted to whatever you want. The written pattern has been linked in the description box below along with the timestamps. This is a step-by-step -step beginner friendly tutorial. This is the yarn that I am using to make these leg warmers. We don't need to use exactly the same yarn. We can use any medium weight or weight for yarn. This yarn is a 100% premium acrylic yarn and each skein has about 195 meters and 100 grams of yarn. I'm going to leave the amount needed in the description box below. Other material we will need is a 5 millimeter or an 8 size crochet hook, measuring tape, scissors and a tapestry needle. Now let's begin. I already made this first leg warmer and I will make the second one with you. We will begin with this ribbing at the bottom. Continue with the shell pattern and end with the ribbing at the top. Going to begin with a slip knot. We can make this however we want. Now we are going to chain 11 for the bottom ribbing. To chain, we are going to yarn over and then pull through this loop. This is our first chain. Yarn over and pull through. This is our second chain. Yarn over and pull through. This is our third chain. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I'm sorry, 9, 10 and 11. Now we are going to begin row 1 of the ribbing. We are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook does not count as a chain. We are going to skip this very first chain and in the second V that we see, we are going to insert our hook into the top loop. Then we are going to yarn over and then pull through. We have two loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through these two loops. We made our first single crochet. Now go to the next chain, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. We have two loops, yarn over and pull through both. Go to the next chain. Make a single crochet. So in the same way, we are going to continue making single crochet in all the chains till the very last chain. So I will meet you once we reach here. So now I've finished making all my single crochet, made a single crochet in the last chain. We want to count all our single crochets or all the V's that we see. This is the very first V. We are going to have 10 in all. Row 2. We are going to chain 1 and then turn our work. So yarn over and then pull through. This is our chain 1 and we will turn our work to work in this direction. So the loop on the hook does not count as a chain. This is our chain 1 stitch. We are not going to work into it. And this is the first single crochet. So we are going to work in this first single crochet but we will work only in the back loop. So each stitch we can see has a loop that faces us and a loop that faces away from us. So we are interested in this back loop and we are going to make all our single crochet for the ribbing in this back loop. Let's make a single crochet in this first single crochet. Insert your hook into the back loop. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through. We have two loops. We are going to yarn over and pull through both. Go to this next V. Insert your hook in the back loop only. Yarn over and pull through. We have two loops, yarn over and pull through both. I'm going to go to the next single crochet, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through both. So in the same way, we are going to continue till we reach the last single crochet. I will meet you once we reach here. I have reached the end of the row. So if we count from this very first single crochet that we see here, this is the chain 1 stitch at the side. We can move it aside to see the first V here. Starting from the first V, if we count, I have 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 single crochet. The last one is always hidden, so make sure you don't miss this last single crochet. On the side here, we have our chain stitch and this is our last single crochet. So in the back loop of this single crochet, we will make our last single crochet. Take your hook and insert it into the back loop of the last single crochet. And make your last single crochet of row 2. For the rest of the ribbing, we are just going to repeat row 2 for pattern and we want to make sure we have 10 single crochet in all the rows. I just want to show you if you are using any different type of yarn, 
the ribbing should be between 2 to 2 and a half inches minus almost 2 and a half inches. So make sure you chain accordingly and work the ribbing accordingly. Row 3. It will be a repeat of row 2 like all the other rows. We are going to begin with a chain 1 and then we are going to turn our work. We are going to go to this very first single crochet and in the back loop make a single crochet. Single crochet in the back loop of the next stitch. Single crochet in the back loop of the next and continue till you reach the very last stitch here. I have made 9 single crochets so far counting from this very first V. Make sure you don't skip this last V. Just move aside the chain stitch to see it clearly. Insert your hook into the back loop and make your single crochet. Count all your single crochet and make sure you have 10 at the end of all the rows. We are just going to continue repeating row 2 for pattern till we have 41 rows. Now if you want to make this a little more wider, you will continue till you have 47 rows. And if you want to make it a little bit narrower, you will continue till you have 35 rows. So it is a multiple of 6 plus 5. I am going to continue till I have 41 rows in all. I have finished my entire ribbing. If you want, you can wrap this around your calf or the widest part of your leg. It should fit very snugly. Just check this out and wrap it. When the slip knot is at the bottom left, this is the right side. To count the rows, I just count the ridges. And each ridge includes two rows. 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Make sure that the right side faces up. And we are just going to close it like this and slip stitch between these two ends. I'm just going to turn my work so it's easier to slip stitch across the two ends. Before we slip stitch, we are going to chain one, so yarn over and pull through. Now we are going to slip stitch into the loop facing us and the chain at the back here. So just insert your hook into this first loop that we see. And on the other side, we are going to insert our hook into this first chain. I am just going to go to the bottom of the single crochet and insert my hook here. Then I am going to move this tail end aside, yarn over, pull through the first stitch on this side, the first stitch on this side and then through the loop on my hook. Let's go to the second stitch. So I am going to insert it into the loop facing us. Let's go to second stitch on this side. I am going to insert it into the chains like this. Then I am going to yarn over, pull through this side and this side and then the loop on our hook. Insert your hook, insert your hook on the other side, yarn over, pull through both and pull through the loop on the hook. So in the same way, we are going to continue till we reach the end here. Now we meet you here. We count all our slip stitches counting from this very first one. We are going to have 10. Once we finish all the slip stitches, we are just going to turn this inside out like this. So now we are going to work on this side. Let's go to row 1 of the leg warmer. We are going to begin with a chain 1, so yarn over and then pull through. And now we are going to go back into the same row here and make a single crochet. Just insert your hook into the corner that you see here. Any stitch that you see to the corner here, just insert your hook like this. Yarn over and then pull through and yarn over and pull through both. And now we are going to go to this next row and make a single crochet at the side of it. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both. Go to the next row and make a single crochet at the side of it. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through both. Single crochet at the side of the next row. So just to make sure I am making the single crochet correctly, I make sure I have two single crochet between the ridges. So both the rows, just like we counted, one for this row and one for this row. One for this row and then one for this row. Continue till you reach the end of the round. I will meet you there. To reach the end of the round and I have counted all my single crochet, they should be the same as the number of rows that you have made for the ribbing. So I have made 41 rows and I have 41 single crochet. If you have made 35 rows, you are going to have 35. And if you have made 47, you are going to have 47 single crochet. Now at the end of this round, we just want to insert our hook into the last space or any space that we can find here and make one more single crochet. So we are going to have one more single crochet than the number of rows we made for the ribbing. And we are going to end by a slip stitch to this first single crochet of the round. So this is our very first V that we can see. This is our chain 1 stitch at the corner here. So we are going to find these two legs of the single crochet, find our first V, insert our hook below both the loops. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on our hook. At the end of this round 1 of single crochet, 
we must have any multiple of 6. I have 42. You may have 36 or 48, but it must be a multiple of 6. Round 2. Now, this is a shell stitch round. So, we're going to begin with a chain 1, yarn over and pull through. And we're going to single crochet in the same stitch. So, if you pull up the stitch a little bit, you're going to see a gap here. Just insert your hook below both the loops of the V of the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. We have two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both. We have made a single crochet. Now we are going to skip the next two stitches. So we have worked in this single crochet. We are going to skip this single crochet and this single crochet and go to this single crochet. And here we are going to make five double crochet. So remember we are going to skip two single crochet and in the next single crochet we are going to make five double crochet. To make a double crochet, yarn over first. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V and we are going to yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through two. We have two loops on our hook, we are going to yarn over and pull through the last two. Now make another double crochet in the same stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last two. We are going to make one more double crochet, working in the same stitch. So far we have made 3, we are going to make 2 more. One, and this is the last one in the same stitch. So we have made our shell with 5 double crochet. After we make our shell, we are going to skip the next 2 stitches. We have made our shell here, skip the next single crochet, skip the next and in the next we are going to make a single crochet. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V, make your single crochet. Now we are just going to repeat this entire pattern again. So we are going to skip 1, 2 single crochet, make a shell in the next one, skip 1, 2 single crochet and single crochet in the next one. Let's do it together. So yarn over, make sure you have skipped 2 single crochet in the next one, we are making a shell. So make your first double crochet. This is your second your third, fourth and fifth. Once you have finished making our shell, we are going to skip the next two single crochet, one and two and in the next insert your hook and make a single crochet. We are just going to continue repeating this pattern till we reach the end of the round. I will meet you once we reach here. So now I have reached the end of the round. After the shell, I have skipped two stitches, made a single crochet. And now I have five single crochet left. So I am going to skip the next two. This is my single crochet. Skip the next two. Make a shell in the next stitch. So make five double crochet. One, two, three, four and five. And after this, I am going to skip the very last two single crochet of the round. We are going to skip the slip stitch of the previous round, skip the chain 1 stitch, go to the first single crochet of the previous round. And we are going to insert a hook below both the loops of the V, yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on our hook. So we have slip stitch to the first single crochet. Round 3, we are going to begin with a chain 3. So yarn over and pull through 1, 2 and 3. Now this first chain 3 is going to count as a double crochet. We are going to go back to the same stitch. So go back same stitch here and we are going to make two more double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook below both the loops of the V of the same stitch. Make one more double crochet. Yarn over, go back to this very same stitch. Make one more double crochet. So right now we have half a shell. We have three double crochet. We will complete this at the end of the round. Let's go. And make a single crochet next. So we are going to skip two stitches now. So skip this stitch and this stitch and jump to this next double crochet. So we are going to go basically to the center double crochet of these five double crochet and make a single crochet. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V and make your single crochet. Now we are going to make a shell in this next single crochet. So we're going to skip the next two stitches, basically these two double crochet and jump to the single crochet and make a shell. So yarn over, insert your hook in the single crochet, 
make your first double crochet make your second let's make a third double crochet then a fourth and then a fifth so we are going to jump to the center of the shell so we're going to skip the first two double crochet jump to the third double crochet insert your hook and make a single crochet in it feet for this round is very easy we're going to skip these next two double crochet jump to the single crochet and make a shell in the single crochet so you'll make five double crochet Once you finish the shell, we are going to jump to the center double crochet. So skip the first and the second and in the third double crochet, we are going to make a single crochet. So just continue repeating this pattern. You will make a shell in this next single crochet and single crochet in the third double crochet of the shell. Continue to the end of the round and I will meet you there. So I have reached the end of the round, made a single crochet in the center of this last shell. And now we are going to jump to this very first single crochet that we made these three double crochet in the chain three and the two double crochet and we're going to make two double crochet in the same single crochet so yarn over insert your hook into the same single crochet and we're going to make one double crochet yarn over go back to the same single crochet and one more so we have finished our shell with five double crochet and we're going to slip stitch to the third chain of the chain three so just before this double crochet this is our third chain first second and third Insert your hook into the third chain, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Round 4 is like round 2. We are going to begin with a chain 1, yarn over and then pull through and we are going to single crochet in the same double crochet. Just insert your hook into the same gap that you see here like this, yarn over and pull through. Now we are going to skip 2 stitches. So skip these 2 stitches and in the next stitch we are going to make a shell. So in the single crochet we will make a shell. We are going to skip the next two stitches and in the next stitch in the center of the shell we will make a single crochet. So after the single crochet we are going to skip the next two stitches and in this next single crochet we will make a shell. One. 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we are going to skip the next 2 stitches and in the next stitch we are going to make a single crochet. So we are going to continue in the same way. In the single crochet we will make a shell then skip 2 stitches. In the center of the shell we will make a single crochet. I will meet you at the end of the round. The end of the round made a shell in this very last single crochet. I am going to skip these last 2 double crochet. This is our slip stitch. This is our chain 1. Go to the very first single crochet which is the stitch. Insert your hook and join by a slip stitch. Now on we are just going to repeat round 3 and round 4 for pattern till we have the required height of our leg warmer. So I am just going to show you on the leg warmer that I have already made. We are going to repeat round 3 and round 4 till we reach the top of the shell pattern here. Till we reach the ribbing here. And when I measure from here right till the end of the ribbing or till the end of the bottom ribbing, it is a little less than 12 inches for me. Now it may be a little different from you depending on how long your leg is. You make it according to the size that you want. I have finished all the repeats now and my leg warmer measures a little less than 12 inches. You can wear it and check and decide if you want to add or remove a few rows before you make the last part. So I have ended the last shell round with a slip stitch to the first single crochet and now let's begin the last single crochet round before we make the ribbing. Chain 1. Single crochet in the same stitch. So just insert your hook in the same stitch, make a single crochet. Now we are going to single crochet in each and every stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, single crochet in the next. In the next and then in this single crochet also we will single crochet now single crochet in all the double crochets of the shell and then single crochet in the single crochet continue till we reach the end of the round and I will meet you there 
at the end of the single crochet round slip stitch to the first single crochet we want to count all our single crochets they're going to be the same as the first single crochet row at the bottom here now let's begin our ribbing we're not going to cut the yarn chain 11 first 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and now we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook so the loop on the hook is not a chain skip this first chain in the second chain just insert your hook make a single crochet single crochet in the next chain single crochet in the next and continue single crocheting in all the chains till the very last chain i will meet you there i have reached the end of the row we want to count all our single crochets and make sure we have 10 and that we have not missed any single crochet it is very important to count after we finish these 10 single crochet, we can see we have worked in this single crochet stitch. Now we are going to slip stitch to the next two single crochet. We are going to slip stitch to this single crochet first. So insert the hook below both the loops of the weave, yarn over and then pull through and pull through this loop on the hook. Keep your yarn a little loose, then insert the hook into the next single crochet like this, yarn over and then pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. Now what we are going to do is just turn our work like this and work in this direction. But we are going to skip the two slip stitches that we just made. So the loop on the hook is not a stitch. Skip this stitch and this stitch. And in this next stitch into the back loop, just like row 2 of the ribbing, we are working only in the back loop. Make a single crochet. And single crochet in the back loop of the next stitch single crochet in the back loop of the next and we are going to continue till we reach the very last stitch. I will meet you there. Make sure you don't skip the last stitch. Just turn your work to see the V clearly. Insert your hook into the back loop and make your single crochet. At the end of the row, we are always going to count our single crochet. This is our very first single crochet. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Let's begin row 3. We want to chain 1 and then just turn our work like this so that we can work in this direction. After we chain 1, we are going to skip this first chain 1. The loop on the hook is not a stitch. Skip this chain 1. And in this first single crochet in the back loop, begin making single crochets again. Single crochet in the next. Single crochet in the next. And continue till the very last single crochet. So I have reached the last single crochet. Quickly count all your single crochet. Make sure you haven't skipped any stitches. And we are going to slip stitch to the next two stitches. So we have worked in this stitch. Slip stitch to the next single crochet. And slip stitch to the next. Remember to keep the yarn a little loose. After we make our two slip stitches, we are just going to turn our work like this. Now we are going to begin working in this first single crochet. Remember the loop on the hook is not a stitch. We are going to skip the first slip stitch, skip the second slip stitch in this first single crochet. Insert your hook into the back loop, make a single crochet. In the next stitch, insert your hook into the back loop, make a single crochet. Continue in the same way till the very last stitch. So in the same way, we are just going to count all our single crochet. Make sure we haven't missed any and continue repeating these two rows Till we finish the entire ribbing, I will meet you once we reach the end of the round. I have finished my entire ribbing. I have counted my rows. I have 41 which is the same as the bottom ribbing. Now I am going to add one extra row here. You can decide if you want to add the extra row or not. If you want to finish here, you are going to slip stitch these two ends together. And if you want to add the extra row, you can do it like I am. I have reached the end of the round and I have only one single crochet left. So I am going to slip stitch in this single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet of the round and now I'm going to turn my work skip the two slip stitches begin single crochet in the back loop and continue till the end of this row so now I've finished my entire ribbing and I'm going to turn this inside out we can slip stitch in any direction, either this way or this way. Since I have ended here, I am going to slip stitch these two ends together in this direction. We will slip stitch on the wrong side. My leg warmer inside out and let's slip stitch these two ends together. 
going to start slip stitching. So first we will chain 1. Insert your hook below the chain on this side and below the back loop on the first stitch of this side. And we are going to yarn over, pull through this loop, pull through the chain and pull through the loop on our hook. We are going to go below the second chain and we are going to go into the back loop of the second stitch. Yarn over, pull through, pull through and then pull through the loop on our hook. Continue in the same way till you reach the end and you have 10 slip stitches in all. I am going to quickly count my slip stitches. I have 10 in all. Now we are going to leave a small yarn tail to weave it in about 4 to 5 inches and then cut the yarn. And we are going to pull out a tail by tugging on this loop. We are going to weave this tail end in on the wrong side and we will weave in any other tail end on this wrong side. Then we will turn this inside out so that the right side faces up so it is ready to weave. So to weave in the tail end, I am going to go 3 to 4 times in the opposite direction. So make sure your tail end is firmly weaved in before you cut the yarn. Make sure you don't go to the front of the tail is firmly weaved in. You will take a scissor and then cut this yarn off. I hope you have enjoyed making and wearing these leg warmers. Please let me know in the comments below what color you have used. Thank you so much for watching. The written pattern has been linked in the description box below. And here are some similar tutorials you may enjoy. See you next time.